Hi amigos, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Emily and today it is the big day. We are going to decorate para Halloween and Dia de los Muertos. I'm so excited. I have all this stuff that I've ordered and I picked up some pumpkins earlier today too, just in time to start decorating with you guys. Also, quick update, it has almost been a month of starting Invisalign, so 17 more to go. But anyways, let's get to it because we are gonna be very busy today. I'm not only decorating with you guys on here, but I'm also working with World Market for a campaign on my Instagram and I'm so happy about it because they have such cute stuff for Dia de los Muertos. Those, like I was honestly surprised hold on though I feel a little weird without a necklace BRB okay that's better when do I not have a necklace let me show you all of the home decor and the other los muertos decor that I got from world market and then some other stuff that I got too and then we're gonna put it all together and I'm really excited all right so I have everything in the office it's gonna be a mix of Halloween and the other los muertos Halloween basically outside and then inside will be just very fall and Dia de los Muertos inspired. So, first of all, we have this big old spider. Um, yeah, I just really wanted one for the front door. He's gonna go outside. We have some baskets. We're gonna make some changes, guys. So excited. I love this terracotta skeleton. Ugh. We have some other stuff that I'm gonna use for the setup for the World Market campaign. We have some dry florals here. I actually picked these up from Target literally today because they were so cute. I just wanted something simple for the coffee table and this is perfect. I have my velas over here. Oh, look at these awesome candles holders love these and then lots and lots of like vases everything basically from world market look at these awesome sugar skulls and then some really pretty frames i'm so excited because i didn't have any really nice frames and right now it's too early to get my fresh marigolds of course so i'm just gonna be using these these are really awesome they came from world market as well again literally everything's from world market um uh, but i will have everything linked down below in case you are interested these cute mugs some butterflies oh almost forgot we also have some dishware and stuff so i'm basically setting things up so you guys can see what it's gonna look like when i have like friends over and stuff like with the dishware and everything it's gonna look so cute i'm really excited oh but let me show you these i picked up these pumpkins today and i love them and tell me why they actually look super cool right here at the front door entrance these will be going outside but good idea in case you don't have space for any of your pumpkins outside or really want to incorporate them inside this would be a cool idea maybe like they start outside they come inside I don't know I don't know I love them right here and last thing I want to show you is this dress that is also from world market it is so comfortable and just really cute look at this cute pattern and in my opinion if it's the occasion very well don't forget this is chencho he is already the best decor we have Benito over here and then we have Pepe of course love him as I go I will tell you what I'm doing because I don't even know what I'm doing and also because I have to film the other stuff I just brought out the stuff that I know is going to be basically in the living area is right here of course some of that will be over here but this I know for sure is going to be here I'm thinking about removing this wall art and trying out these wall baskets I think it's gonna look super cute I love this print but I think it's perfect timing to change it up and then right here we have the kitchen stuff I'm gonna be making some cafe de olla I'm so excited because then I'm gonna have some leftover and of course orejitas and wedding cookies and the Monarca has a lot of great stuff. I really love them. I always go to their coffee shop when I go back home in Whittier. Love their stuff. And yeah, this is just like all the dinnerware. And I definitely want to start in the living room because this is going to be the main area. What I did last year was that I had a shelf right here and that's where I had my ofrenda. But this year I can't have the same type of setup. I really have minimal space. So I'm going to create the space that I need and I'm going to set it up right here. It's just going to be a small one because I always usually focus it on my dad. And it's honestly the perfect spot because my dad loved music. He really is the reason why me and my family love our spanish rock i mean all rock in general but spanish rock is the best and and that was just something that me and my dad always shared and that's why sorry i can't ah i feel like every time i talk about it at least lately then i get like emotional but anyways um 
Anyways, Spanish rock, anyways, Spanish rock music honestly has my heart and I owe that a lot to my dad. So I think this is gonna be a perfect spot. And unfortunately, the photos that I really want to have, I need to get new prints of or something from like negatives. My dad actually gave a lot of pictures to his immediate family in Mexico. So we don't have that many, we mostly have the negatives. So I need to print some more out. Unfortunately, I didn't have time, but I love this picture of my dad and I'm going to be using this one. And it's gonna take me some time to get the other pictures because there's other family members that I obviously want to incorporate in here. But in until I get those, I'm just going to have my dad's picture on the ofrenda. And since I have another frame, I thought, okay, obviously you can't have people, other people in it to have on the ofrenda, right? So I'm going to use this picture of me, my mom and dad when I was little. And I'm just going to put it right here by the other chair. And it'll just be nice decor. It won't be as part of the ofrenda, but I think it's really cute. And once I have other pictures of relatives and loved ones that I want to incorporate, then I'm going going to add them on there with my dad's but for now it's going to be all him and it's going to be right here with all music sorry guys i almost forgot to record because i'm recording for the tiktok in real obviously but this is what it's looking like so far i think it's looking so cute i obviously want to still have the music but i think i'm going to minimize it a bit because i want to have some other stuff right here for the decor all right so these are the ones that i ended up keeping on here just the caifanes album or the caifanes vinyl album and then some it was it silencio and um i think this is jaguares which is caifanes as well i'm gonna keep it like this for the music portion because obviously the other ones just made it look like just too much. So for the bottom, I'm thinking about doing just some more flowers maybe. This is so cute. We could do something like that down there. All right, so far I think it's coming out really cute. And now I have these little monarch butterflies and my plan is to just put some up here, basically making their way up. These are so cute because you could like flap them <laughs> or flap the wings. They definitely add a great finishing touch to it all. Okay you guys, I think I'm done with the ofrenda because I can't do too, too much because it's a small space. But I think I really like how it turned out. I love these monarch butterflies and the way that you could just make it into basically whatever kind of style that you want. Mine, I wanted it to basically be like they're flying towards the light over here. Again, the main thing is like the music for my dad, all the marigolds. Um, this is a fake pan de muerto. It's actually really cool though um but that's just there so it could stay here and you don't have to worry about it obviously and then on the other los muertos i'm gonna get an actual pan de muerto and i'll have that and i just wanted to focus it on like the candy i just have these de la rosa ones my dad loved all his sweets but i can't fill up too much so i just wanted to at least have that and last year i had like his favorite candy bars and beer and all that stuff but again not much room so what i'm doing this time is just using this cute little shot glass so that could just represent that and yeah just want to keep it simple i think it looks really, really cute though what do you guys think now i'm gonna move on to in here the main thing is honestly going to be the coffee table
All right, so this is where we're at right now. I was just doing some little clips for my Instagram stuff. Everything's looking super good. I set this whole thing up. I made some cafe de olla, which is so good, by the way. Highly recommend, where is it? The cafe de olla by La Monarca. And then we have this just to showcase some of World Market's plates, which are so, so pretty. Love them. Got some more vases over there. So basically, I just had to do like a bunch of clips and stuff. Now, it's the breakfast nook part. I'm gonna move that wall art, put up the wall baskets. And then over here, what I'm going to have is basically like the little drink section. So I'm just gonna have the carafe and then I have these really nice glasses, super cute. Feels like a struggle, but we're doing it. We're doing it somehow. <laughs> I need a smaller screw, but I don't have a smaller screw. So, hey, it works. <gasps> perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, next we have to put that one up there, and then we're gonna use some of the smaller ones and like put one up there and down there or something. We're just gonna go with it. So, the plan is this one up here, this one like this. So I checked on my phone and I do like the smaller one better, so that's not what we're gonna do. Right here. Uh, I think that might be a little too far away. Yeah, like right there. I think I know where now. All right, it should be a little bit higher than where I I am officially in love with the breakfast nook yet again. I think that having just these wall baskets really opened up the space because it just feels so much more like light and clean in here. Anyways, I set up the whole thing for the world market campaign. So that's why I didn't show like everything, but I did this little setup over here with some of their kitchenware, which is beautiful. I love it. I just want somebody to come over now. I also added this really cute hanging planter also from world market. It. And then I added the hanging terracotta skeleton right here. I really wanted to have him like against the wall in the living room or something, but his little hat does not allow it. It actually has to be hung up from like above. So that's why I just used an S hook to hook up that part. And now he gets to just chill right here. Sorry for the lighting, but I love the dining nook. It's so nice in here now. Who knew we were gonna get a whole little dining nook makeover out of this video. Oh my gosh, wow, look at the, wow, I love, it's about to be golden hour, so it's getting really nice. Okay, so, so we're basically done with inside. We have our ofrenda right here. We have, we have our skeleton guys over here. My little picture frame of me, my mom, and my dad. And then look at how cute, the little pumpkins from Target. So here's the plan. We will pick up tomorrow to do the outside stuff. All right, you guys, we are back to finishing up decorating for fall and Dia de los Muertos. So we got basically everything done inside. The only thing that's missing is, is taking these pumpkins outside. I'm not gonna lie though, I really, really love the look of them in here because I get to actually appreciate them, you know? Let's take them outside, they're meant to go outside. I wiped them down, not the best though. This one like still has a lot of that. I'm thinking about putting them in the sink again though and giving them another little wash and drying them out. So let's do that because I just wanna make sure that they look as nice as possible. I don't even know if you should wash it with soap, but that's just what I'm gonna do, because why not? Yeah. 
So it looks like I'm gonna have the tiniest amount of walking space, but it's worth it <laughs> to have the pumpkins. Now I have to figure out how this thing is supposed to go. I want it to be like this on the door. Like, well, the door still closed is the question. Let's see. I mean, it still closes. And there was a light. Um, I kind of love it. Now I'm just gonna make sure that I can lock it without a problem. It works. It looks so good. It looks cool. It's like unexpected. decorating with me for Halloween and Dia de los Muertos. I love how everything turned out. It's definitely way better than last year. I can't even remember what I did last year, but this year definitely tops it. I'm loving the damn spider outside. Everything's perfect. If you guys liked any of the products that I shared with you, then I will have everything linked down below. And hopefully it gave you guys a little bit of inspo. And that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. We'll be keeping up with the holiday themed videos. And if there's anything specific that you guys wanna see, then don't forget to drop down a comment. All right, thank you guys again, and I will see you next time.